you fill in so fast. Pound it. Uh, bugaboo? Something wrong. Uh, pound it, yeah. <laughs> hey, why don't we check one more time that everything's okay in Paris? <laughs> like an extra patrol. You want to tell me what's going on? You didn't even scold me when I called you Bugaboo. There's nothing going on. Everything is super great. I just have some extra time and I really don't feel like chit-chatting. Then I know the perfect place where there's no talking. I'm all in. Oh, my darling, why can't you love me? You tricked me. Shh. No talking, you said. Ladybug Cat Noir. I'm keeping too many secrets from you, Ronaldo. Stop <laughs> giving me those puppy eyes, okay? I'll tell you everything. I'm leading a double life, Ronaldo. Are you kidding me? Don't tell him anything, you fool! Could you keep it down, m'lady? Romantic comedies are lame anyway, and you know why? It's totally not realistic. In real life, the girl would take forever to tell a guy she loves him without stuttering. Blah, blah, blah! So how could she know if he loves her back? It's impossible! So then she decides she can never, ever be with him, and then BAM! She falls in love with another guy, and everything is so cool. Almost too easy. No stuttering, the hold hands, I get all kissy-kissy, and then, surprise! She has secrets! And him, he hates secrets, of course. So that's a breakup, and everyone lives unhappily ever after. The end. And that's why romantic comedies are so late. So sorry, we'll be going now. Stay away from the romantic comedy. Go for heroic heroes aid instead. Okay. Special effects, heroes saving the world. No feelings, no questions. Nobody talks because there's nothing to say. That is good entertainment for sure. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Listen, lady. I didn't get everything you said, and obviously I know nothing about your private life, but I do know what heartbreak sounds and feels like, and... Heartbreak? Me? <laughs> that is not it at all. Everything's fine. In fact, I feel like swimming. Let's go to the pool. You know, if you ever want to talk about anything, I'm here swimming! for you. Miraculous are mine! Ah! Uh. Wow, it's way cooler in here than on the outside. I don't know, I have a strange feeling. Look out! <clears throat> it's like being inside a giant pinball machine! Yeah, but I think it's in multi-ball mode. Everyone got captured because of me. Everyone got captured because of me. What's Everyone wrong with got him? Captured because of me. Is it me or did he just turn into Reflecta? She must have been re akumatized by Shadow Moth. And that thing is her Senta monster. We've got to find out what Reflecta is hiding. She must be the one controlling it. Stay on your guard. I never should have let them leave the classroom. I never should have let them leave the classroom. The Senta monster is contaminating everyone with its purple balls. It's not going to be easy finding the real Reflecta with everyone looking like her. If only I had worn my competition swimsuit, I wouldn't have been faster. I never should have let go of Ivan's hand. They all look the same, but they still have their own voices. I can't even help my best bud face up to his old man. Oh, Nino. This is all our fault. If we'd been able to stop Shadow Moth, the students wouldn't be caught in this trap. Oh no, this can't be happening. Not now. Oh, cataclysm. Kanoar, no! If we get turned into Reflecta and frozen like the rest of them, Shadow Moth will help himself to our Miraculous. We should just give him a Miraculous. You're right, Kitty Cat. How could I ever believe that the two of us could take on such a powerful Sentin Monster by ourselves? Her 
negative thoughts with positive thinking. That's what stops her from turning into Reflecta. We have to do the same. Cat Noir, you can do this. You have to think positive. You're the greatest partner anyone could have. Ladybug, do you really mean that? Yes. I probably don't tell you this enough, but I couldn't do this without you. And it'd be a lot less fun, too. Why, that's a meowulous thing to say. And you're just about perfect yourself, m'lady. <laughs> nice to have you back, kitty cat. <laughs> People of Paris! Ladybug had promised to protect you? Well, she lied to you. Behold her defeat! I took all the miraculous from her. Now I am more powerful than ever! And from now on, I will be attacking you relentlessly. I will be everywhere, probing your thoughts, stealing your dreams, harnessing your deepest fears. Whatever damage I can cause, I will not stop. Unless someone brings me Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. I've lost everything! You haven't lost me. Why don't you just give up on me? I've lost all the miraculous. I'm the worst guardian ever. I wanted to control everything. I didn't listen to you. I lied to you. I kept you at a distance. Every time you offered me a helping hand, I never took it. I really made a mess of everything. Milady. <sighs> We're gonna get them back one by one until the very last, and we'll make sure this never happens again. You... and me? You, the best superhero there ever was. Them, the people of Paris. And me, your loyal partner. Hello, m'lady. Is this the wonderful guest you mentioned in your message? Of course. Another child. Cat Noir, this is... I am Grandmaster Suhan, the Celestial Guardian of the Mother Box. What? Aren't you supposed to be the Guardian, m'lady? When the lion speaks, the cub listens. First off, you two are going to hand over your Miraculous to me. What? That's a bad joke, and I know all about bad jokes. But we can't do that. How are we going to defeat Shadow Moth without our Miraculous? I will reassign them to carefully selected, appropriate adult holders, like any rightful, responsible guardian would do. Wait a minute, we can't just give our Miraculous to some guy who just showed up out of the blue. I... I don't know. The Kwamis confirmed that he's the real, original guardian of the box. Maybe Grandmaster Suhan is right. Maybe Master Fu was wrong. Maybe that's the reason why we can't defeat Shadow Moth. That's ridiculous. You've always delivered. Trust yourself, Ladybug, like I trust you. If I have to give my Miraculous back, then fine, I will but only if you ask me to. You're the only guardian here. Then it's settled. Order him to give you his Miraculous back and let's be done with this. Then you will renounce being the guardian so I can retrieve the mother box. But if I do it, will my memories get erased like Master Fu's? Does that mean you won't remember me? Uh. You want my ring? Then come and get it! Fine. Noir, calm down. That's a guardian you're talking to. We're gonna find a solution. <laughs> Why do you think guardians study for so many years? Just to hand the miraculous out to whomever? No. We are specially trained to overpower the miraculous holders who have gone rogue. Like you! Celestial Storm! The thousand fists of the Yama bring them the fairies! Watch out! <laughs> Master Fu was much nicer. And his Mirac Kung Fu was much worse. Grandmaster, the last I heard, I was the guardian. And I say that Cat Noir keeps his miraculous, and I keep mine. Insolent subordinate. Stream of justice flows right down and submerges the enemy armies. I don't know how he's doing it, but he's guessing our every move in advance. My Marat Kung Fu is like water. It adapts and finds its way anywhere. And you are barely afloat at the mercy of the river current. Kenoar, uh, uh, grab his staff. The claws of the hungry cow are powerless against the milkman's iron box. 
On guard, my lord. Has the warrior escaped? <laughs> what? Bye bye. <laughs> If you challenge the clouds, you will face the thunder. <laughs>